friends, Kyle Rhodes here, founding member of the SSFLBSA. You're probably wondering, what is the SSFLBSA? Well, we'll get back to that in a moment. But first, there's something very urgent that I'd like to bring to your attention. Something so profound, something that's so needed to be taken care of in our time right now of need. Something that, unfortunately, almost every member of Florida residency, all 21.5 million are possibly guilty of, but has gone unnoticed. Something so vicious, so atrocious, so disruptive to our community, that now is the time for it to be paid attention to. Again, you're probably wondering, what is Kyle talking about? Well, friends, I'm gonna let you in. Yes, friends, I'm talking about the suffering and violent and ultimately unneeded murder of trillions upon trillions of love bugs every year. And yes, friends, that's by people like you and me, Florida residents, every year killing trillions upon trillions of love bugs. Let's take a clearer, more in depth look at the common love bug and just how beautiful and wonderful this tiny little creature really is. A love bug, or known by its Latin name, Policia narcissia, is a species of March fly found in parts of Central America and the Southeastern United States, especially along the Gulf Coast. It is also known as the honeymoon fly, or the double-headed bug. During and after mating, matured pairs remain together even in flight for up to several days. The species was first described in 1940 by D.E. Hardy, but was seen in Louisiana as early as 1911. At that time, he reported the incidence of love bugs to be widespread, but most common in Texas, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. L.A. Hittrick, writing in the 1970s, found the bug was also widespread in central and northern Florida and described its flights as reaching altitudes of 300 to 450 meters and extending several kilometers over the Gulf. Love bugs, larvae, feed on the partially decayed vegetation in the landscape and in this respect are beneficial to humans. Adults primarily feed on the nectar of various plants, and particularly sweet clover, goldenrod, and that pesky Brazilian so you're pepper. You're probably wondering the big question, as am I. Kyle, how can I be a part of this? It's just simple old me. How can I help reduce the unwanted and unneeded slaughter of trillions of love bugs that happen every year in South Florida? Well, friends, here's a few suggestions. Love bugs have two mating seasons during the year. Four weeks in the spring, four weeks in the fall. Simply choose to not drive your vehicle during those eight weeks. And taking into consideration the current climate of things, most people don't need to drive or do anything anyways. Perhaps you could ride your bike or just walk. If you do have to drive a company vehicle, quit that job, you don't need it anyways. Here's a few other suggestions. If you do drive a vehicle and you need to drive a vehicle, simply chop the top of the vehicle off or remove all of the windows, thus eliminating any unwanted deaths of love bugs. All of us can do our parts, friends. It starts with you and me. Finally, friends, in closing, there is one last thing you can do. You can make a contribution or a donation to the SSFLBSA. What is the SSFLBSA, Kyle? Well, it's Save South Florida Love Bugs Association of America. And you can reach us at SSFLBSA.com. We can all do our parts, friends, to save these tiny little creatures, these little honeymoon bugs, these double-headed bugs, these beautiful little creatures that sacrifice their lives every year for us and our vehicles. Take care, friends. I love all of you. And remember, we're all in this together. Cheers.